Welcome back. We're talking about marine engines again today, and this one specifically is the airboat combination. So, as always, we start from the bottom up, and on this particular application, an all airboat specific engine packages from us at Prestige has got a custom built aluminum oil pan from Steffs. Uh, this is what we call a three quarter sump. It's got a lot of internal baffling, windage trays, scrapers, oil control in marine, whether it be offshore or airboat, is super, super critical. So, again, Steffs aluminum oil pan, and then moving on up, uh, quality aftermarket block, Dart, World Products, and some others. Uh, 4340 crank, H-beam rods, uh, aftermarket uh, 2618 forged pistons, gas ported to help with that cylinder sealing, and up top this particular 582 package has got our ASCAST 315 aluminum cylinder heads, and it is a hydraulic roller uh, combination, so hydraulic roller cam, lifters, and it's got our billet roller rocker. These particular applications actually use a stud girdle, but an optional upgrade would be a shaft rocker if one uh, pr uh, prefers that. Uh, and something I didn't uh, clarify in the Offshore Marine as another upgradable option is the piston cooling jets and the valve spring oilers. So we're using a sandwich plate here between the valve cover uh, that sprays and showers the the valve springs with uh, oil to keep them cool. Uh, we get better cycle life out of them that way. And beings, this, this one is carbureted, so the fuel and ignition, we've got the intake manifold, carburetor, uh, it would come with a fuel log, uh, as well as the distributor, wires, and ignition box. On carbureted applications, primarily in airboats, but also in the offshore marine market, they typically have a little bit of an issue shutting off. So they'll have some run-on, dieseling, call it what you will. That actually, a lot of times, is a very hot combustion chamber, and the uh, crown of the piston is extremely hot from running hard. That's where the piston cooling jets come in. Allow us to have a little bit more aggressive tune-up, but it helps with that shutdown when we're running specifically carburetors. Uh, it helps minimize that run-on and dieseling. Moving up front, We've got uh, the March pulley system. This is an alternator and water pump only, specific again to the airboat. Uh, these typically are gonna populate in the black finish as you see here, so natural uh, finished water pump, black alternator, black pulleys and brackets. Uh, those can be changed to billet if you prefer a polished look. And the valve cover option also is typically comes standard polished. This one, the customer upgraded to a black powder coat option. These are our custom built valve covers, so it's got the Ford upright breathers, has a fill cap, um, and typically it's gonna have a fill cap on both sides actually, uh, and then dipstick, and the oil pans have a sight glass uh, as well as a dipstick option. So sometimes these are twin engine airboats or trips or, or a quad motors, so the reason for a fill cap on both sides, sight glass on both sides, and dipstick provision on both sides they can interchange where what side that motor is on on the boat. So it gives a little bit of a interchangeability um, and maneuverability depending on what this is going on. So, so this is our 582 uh, that's listed. 680 horsepower for the airboats and this one happens to be carbureted. Obviously we have option for the multi-point fuel injection as well. And something I'll just point out using this one as an example, when we do the fuel injection upgrade or option, you'll notice this is a dominator style throttle body. We find that these really, really respond well to the bigger throttle body and the bigger plenum. They'll make more power under the curve, peak torque is even higher, uh, but you'll notice when we go to a carbureted application, it's a 4150. Primarily because these will actually idle better, transition and throttle better when it's on a carburetor we like to keep it in a 4150 body, but of course, EFI, we go to a 4500 or Dominator flange. So this is obviously an example of our drop-in ready 582 airboat package. This can be purchased as a long block, dyno tested only, 
or turnkey with the fuel and ignition, whether it be carbureted or EFI, and drop-in ready with the pulley stack, flex plate, starter, etc. to repower your airboat and you have additional information needed, don't hesitate to give us a call. Thanks for watching.